<clears throat> I think we need to talk about our friend Josh. So what do you think of when you think of Josh Becklab? What do I think of when I think of Josh? Pretty simple. Good friend. Loyal friend. What do I think of when I think of Josh? Well, it's leadership. I think you're a leader. Um, I believe you're caring. I think you're fun. Uh, I think you're bright. I think you're intelligent. Uh, of course, these things all come from me and mom, but, <laughs> but, they, but you have them. I think about football and barbecuing, and I think about singing. I mean, the pipes on that guy. Great voice. Beyonce who? And I think about ridiculous bets and drinking whiskey. And I think about overall just having a great time. When Josh was just very small, he was always laughing and smiling and so happy. If you had to pick one word to describe Josh, it would be... Curious. Ooh. Always curious to learn all the sides of something, whether it's uh, politics, food, entertaining, wine. He wants to learn all about it, the, the, where they travel, where they go. It's, yeah. He's very curious, curious, and I love that. Curious, I like that. Yes. I was going to say smart as fuck, but can we say fuck on this? <laughs> My word is seeker. Um, no, not Harry Potter Quidditch seeker, but in fact, seeker of truth, seeker of um, how to make the day the best that it can be. Él es muy guapo. Ooh, y mi palabra es fantástico. So, what's um, one word that describes Josh Beglau to me? I want to say with things like jack of all trades or renaissance man or like the Swiss army knife of human beings, but I think what really encapsulates it is polymathic. Polymath. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a hard one. Josh is, is a multifaceted person, but he's kind, he's generous, um, he's competitive. Josh is by far one of the most competitive people I know. He put his fist through a wall to try to win Wii tennis. Um, he cheats at shuffleboard. When I think about my brother Josh, so many things come to my mind. Winning every single game we ever played. When we started thinking about the memories we were going to share, JD said uh, at first he couldn't remember what game it was. Yeah, I couldn't remember what game it was. He, he knew that we were playing a game and that Josh was good at it, yeah. <laughs> um, which I have a million memories of that happening. And growing up, Next door to Josh, he's been pushing me my whole life, whether it was school or sports or games, uh, even stupid things like rollerblade basketball on the sport court. Uh, he's, he's been pushing me, and, and our, that competitive drive uh, is stronger in Josh than anybody I know. You know, the one word that comes to mind when I think of you is passionate. I love that you stick up for what you believe in and that you care so much for others. What do I think of when I think of Josh? I think of... Someone who's highly calculated, except for when it comes to buying a one-wheeled skateboard. If Josh was an animal, what would he be? Ooh, a griffin. The sexy gray-haired liger. Actually, I take that back. You'd be an old gray <coughs> golden retriever. This is not a roast. Oh, like an one. The first thing I think of when I think of Josh is... How does one man have so many clothes and shoes? My most favorite memory or memories with you would probably have to be that time that I beat you in cribbage um, or that time that I beat you in pool, that time I beat you in golf, uh, basketball. You know, I, there's so many countless memories that I, I just cannot pick one. When I think back on all of my crazy memories with our Austin friends, like Josh is at every single one of them. Is it funny that memories of Josh tend to be a little bit hazy? Late night combos on a patio with wine. 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Josh, thank you, like. My favorite Josh memory is when he fell asleep at Kelly and Graham's wedding. I got the nickname Bedlow. <laughs> there was singing 
On the patio. Obviously. Or on the porch. But yeah. No diggity, lots of it. Yeah. And we just lots like laid around and drank mimosas and mm-hmm. wine and stayed in our pajamas. All day long. And Josh just like. It was so much fun. It was awesome. One of my favorite moments of hanging out with Josh was an all girls weekend <laughs> in South Lake Tahoe. Favorite memory? Wow, probably too many to tell and definitely too many that uh, should not include on this video. Every time we're with Beglau, he's just so much fun. He makes everything fun. His warmth, I think he's, his laugh, he's just a, he's someone who loves to have a good time and loves to make sure that all of the people that he cares about are having a good time too. And he's often the one that's carrying us forward and, and for, forging that path uh, for, for enjoyment and for happiness. I know that whenever he's around, we're gonna have a great time. And I always feel safe even when he's getting escorted out of the nightclub for calling a security officer a dick. He was protecting us. And he's a good friend like that. What do I think about when I think about Josh? Well, Josh is a great friend. One of the best I've got. The thing that I think makes him so special is that how many people consider Josh to be their best friend. You can put him in any room and he will be totally comfortable. And also whoever he's talking to will make you feel like he's listening to you and that what you're saying like matters and that he's genuinely interested in it. And it doesn't matter what you're talking about. So I think that's just something that's rare and just so awesome about him. It's just the way he makes people feel, the way he, he makes people feel special, makes people around him better. Um, you, you feel the need to rise to the occasion uh, when Josh is around. When I think about my brother Josh, so many things come to my mind. Eight perfect test scores without studying. Josh Beglau, smart AF. Okay, <laughs> cut everything else out. Smart, Josh Beglau, smart AF. One of the most intelligent people I've ever met. I've had some deep, really thoughtful conversations with him over the last year or so. And I always find him challenging. I always find him open-minded and curious but willing to take a point and and dig all the way down. He's not a 140 character, 280 character dude. He's a full on, let's get to it dude, which I really, truly appreciate. His amazing ability to beg loud people that don't even know they're being beg loud. (laughs) The ability to negotiate anything, whether it be in Mexico, in Austin, you know, and to, to always just have the best time and surround himself with great people and great friends bring us all together to make one big happy family. He's just like the best addition that we could ever have to this family as far as just fitting right in. I'm super happy to have you in our family and to call you a friend as well as a brother. You know, you have these kids and you think, oh God, they're going to bring somebody in and join the tribe. And you know, you like these people, they come into your life and they love your child, but you really never expect how much you're going to fall in love with them. And that's what makes you special because you're just, you were easy to fall in love with and we love you so much. We do love you so much. I just want to say, Josh, keep asking the important questions and keep your heart and mind open to unexpected answers from unexpected places, from, for, from conclusions that are not foregone by anyone, but will be discoveries of your own. We want to wish you a very happy 40th birthday. We love you. Happy birthday, Josh. We hope this year is the best year yet. Happy 40th, Josh. Feliz cumpleaños! I hope this is the best year of your life. Happy birthday, JB. Cheers. Happy birthday. Welcome to 40. Can't believe we're that old. I love you, brother. And, uh... Happy 40th birthday. Happy birthday, baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, You obviously have so many people that love you and it's for damn good reason. You brighten every single room that you walk into. You make every day and every event and every moment better, happier, shinier, 
more fun. I love you so much. Um, I hope you have a great day and a great 40th year. Well, 41st year if we're playing by bag law rules. I hope you have a wonderful day, especially watching this video of God knows how many crazy people. 12 groovy dance moves, 11 conversations turned into debates, 10 homemade sandwiches, 9 epic house parties, 8 perfect desk scores, self dining, 7 family sing along, 6 Rolos candies, 5 Dallas Cowboy Super Bowl rings, 4 hotel blankets, sausage wraps, 3 or some special of the day, 2 Chevy Camaros, and winning every single game in the whole world world ever ever that we ever played we love you happy birthday happy birthday to you was that better yeah that's great great happy birthday josh happy birthday josh Mwah.